Hi guys, it's Danny. Today we're gonna pot up a Vanda orchid into an orchid top pot with an organic media. So far I've been keeping my Vanda orchids hanging, but I cannot keep up with them. Today we'll be repotting the Vanda Denisoniana. I will use the largest orchid top pot size in a white color that I really really like. I will also use hydrogen clay pebbles as the sole media, no ceramics needed, and also packing peanuts. Finally I found use for them. First thing that I did was to soak the Vanda's roots. This one is really unruly. I'm gonna try to tidy it up a little bit. Just like with a normal repotting, I'll start by placing a layer of medium on the bottom of my pot. Now I don't intend in watering this orchid like the others, with water from below or from above even. The fact that I will be able to keep my Vanda moist for a few days is enough for me to be comfortable. So time to find a place for the Vanda. As you can see, she's very very unruly, but the spikes on the orchid top pot actually help me out in trying to stabilize it. I'm actually placing the roots in between the spikes, making sure that I don't damage them. Luckily, this material is quite flexible, so I really am not damaging the roots. Time for the packing peanuts. I'm actually not using them in the traditional way, meaning on the bottom of the pot. That's not what I'm looking for. All I want is to have a ration in the core of the pot. This being a very large pot, I am prone to having more moisture inside the pot, in the core, and I really don't want that. With the previous Vanda type orchid that I had, everything went well in the orchid top pot, but I had a mixture of bark and ceramics. Now I could tell the core was a little bit too moist for my liking, so this is what I'm trying trying to avoid right now. These types of orchids do well in the orchid top pot actually and this is why I really really like this pot, but I do feel that the core needs to be more aerated. After I'm done with the packing peanuts, I'm just gonna top it off with some more hydrogen clay pellets. Now I know you're gonna say it's a lot of medium in there and it's gonna stay moist for such a long time. Well to be honest, hydrogen clay pebbles are not as water retentive, at least for me, at least in my environment, at least this brand or all the other brands that I used. So I actually potted this orchid three days ago and I'm looking at it right now. It's almost dry, almost completely dry. And the fact that the core is ventilated really keeps me safe from any type of root rot. And here is the finished product. I actually do like it and I really love the design of Orchid Top, it's a personal preference. By the way, if you're interested in these pots, check the description below. You have a discount code which you can use if you want to purchase Orchid Top pots from the Orchid Top website. Thank you Ralph for offering us this code and if you ever want to purchase these types of pots if you fancy them, you might want to use this code because you're gonna get 15% off your order. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this, I will come back with some follow-up videos on how to water them and how to care for all these orchids that I'm potting in an organic media, so stay tuned for that. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a share, subscribe to my channel for daily orchid videos, and also feel free to leave me questions or suggestions for videos in the comment section below, I always read them and I always respond. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orchidnature.com, where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section and on the right side of your screen you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!